<coughs> Before I forget. <sighs> All right, so you read the title correctly. We have switched over to Sumo. And we haven't perfected everything yet, so that's what this video kind of is. Pulling Sumo today, but we're kind of like also going through it and trying to perfect my form. Today should be the day where it clicks. Today should be the day where we get Sumo and everything feels great. <laughs> if you're watching this video and you're an avid Sumo hater, I get it. I was once one of them. But I've come to realize you need to take every advantage that you can on the platform. Because whether you like it or not, Sumo is legal. And people are going to pull Sumo whether you despise it, hate it, or whatever. People are pulling Sumo and it's going to count. So if you can do the same, then why don't you? So that's kind of uh, where my head's at, where my head was. And now I'm just trying to perfect it and make sure that um, I make sure this is better than my conventional, honestly. Um, that's probably another reason why some people hate it is because they can't do it. And that's part of the reason I hated it at first. But after I got with Sean, I realized that it's possible for me. So yeah, pulling. So now every time I deadlift, it's like really exciting. And I look forward to it like today. We got Brandis there to uh, extra, extra critique our form if Sean doesn't get back to us in time. But regardless, it's exciting, exciting day. I'll see you at the gym. But regardless, nothing heavy today, nothing crazy, but more of a dialing down my form type of day because it's week one, nothing crazy. Uh, we pulled, ended up pulling 606 for two, sumo, last week for week four, and now we're kind of, now he gave me two sumo days. I used to have one um, sumo day, but now it's two sumo days. So our form's bound to lock in this block. But regardless, not going heavy today. Still gonna be a fun day. So let's get after it. This is pretty funny, um, but shout out to Brandis for letting me use her deadlift socks. Huh. They're tiny. Hey, I didn't know my feet were that small. Yeah. No way, my feet are actually. Yeah, shout, shout out to Brandon, though. She came in clutch. show it anymore? I don't know. You know, of course you'll do another one. What's up guys? Back to Brandon's video. I'm in front of the camera now. Pre-workout ritual. Cause I'm a 110. So yeah, you just, uh, you got honey. Dab Crazy. It on, dab it on there. More the better because I'm in the gym for like five hours. All right, sumo day two. I'm gonna talk a little bit more today because, um, I actually had my mic charged, and um, we our forms a little bit better, so I won't be as frustrated. Because last last session, my form was honestly kind of like really bad. So today, we're gonna try and lock it lock it in a little bit better. So uh, let's get right back at it.
These should be night and day from last week. I'm working on it a lot. Huh? That's good. Oh, that's good? Yes. <laughs> Definitely, um, so we moved sumo to two times a week as opposed to one, and that definitely helped a lot with, um, I guess just consistency in my form, so that's probably why. This is going decently well so far. Let's go replicate this. Hopefully we can get a good message from Sean today and him giving us a thumbs up because we've never gotten a thumbs up from deadlift. That's better? I didn't pause it. I was just patient. I gotta, I gotta show the people this. So I, I sent the video to Sean, as you can see, and this is the first uh, positive response I've ever gotten from Sean Noriega as on far as sumo on my sumo deadlift. He said he's learning. So we didn't get we didn't get a that's good, but we <laughs> but we got it, he's learning. So I'll take it. We still haven't hit our top set, so I think we'll go straight there. I'll go I'll go more into detail about what I changed from I guess like five minutes ago for y'all, but like last week for me on my sumo, like the differences between the two, because, yeah, last week's I was like in a really bad movie because it was just like moving awful and like it just wasn't good. But now, it's actually feeling good and it's pretty good. So we're getting somewhere. So I'll go over that after this top set. We're gonna execute this first. That's pretty good. So we're stripping to like three reds. And I'll probably go back up to maybe four. For three sets of four, ascending. Really helps on form, which I really need help on. Let's see if I can describe this. Before I switched to sumo, or before, honestly before I got with Sean, I always deadlifted. I would retract my, um, shoulders and like tighten my lats before I pulled anything and that just like lowered my range of motion by like two to three inches and then now I had to like relearn to just like let my arms hang and almost have like he calls it noodle arms and having noodle arms and I just I literally never had that and I just now learned how to do it so like one of the main things that I, I switched from or like worked on from last week to this week is letting my arms hang and having that like just dead arms and just letting it, because it's okay, it's okay for your upper back to round. Having the bar, having the weight pull the tension out of my upper back and having it round and having no, no tension pulled with my back. That's like one of the main things from last week to this week. And I guess being more patient because I was a lot more patient today and it just like flowed a lot better. I was like, I tried to be more violent last week and that just throws everything off. So that's the two main or three main differences from last week to this week and making my form better. And it feels better because I was questioning sumo last week after leaving. I was like, I don't even know if I wanna post this video because sumo just feels trash. And last session, I had like, I had conventional as my back offs. Conventional felt really promising compared to that. But now sumo's feeling good and Sean believes in me. So we gotta keep, gotta keep pushing, keep, uh, keep trying to learn this. What? Sean does believe in me. You're doing great. What are you talking about? See, surrounded by haters. Surrounded by haters. Somebody got hate. <laughs> All right, but now I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to mixed grip so I don't tear my thumb up. I don't like wearing straps because it just like, it's a, it gives you a false range of motion. Not if you wear them right. If you wear them properly, I feel like it, you, do, you can do it right, but I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> do you have good straps or have good straps? I, don't got, I ain't got no good straps. All right, I guess I'll use yours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it tight though, because I don't want no. Uh... Oh shoot! Bet, bet, bet. I didn't even put my belt on. Freaking idiot! Put my belt.
So to conclude this video, not a single rep in the video you just watched was perfect and it probably won't be for the next month or two um, until I nail everything in and perfect everything. Probably take another month or two before I can perfect this, perfect the sumo pull if there's a such thing as perfecting a sumo pull. But as far as if you're questioning if sumo might be a potential move for you, then you won't know until you try and you can still try and still not know because I still have no clue because um, I'm still trying and we're like two months in still don't have the form down for, for some reason for me it's very complicated to learn uh, I, I understand the concept more and more as you know I keep doing it but when I fix one thing then something else goes wrong and this process just is gonna keep happening until eventually everything just clicks but um, that's just the process of it uh, not everything is gonna come right away and I didn't expect it to, but also didn't expect it to take this long. I say go for it if you if you want to try out sumo or if you want to switch over and, and see what it see what it gives you. You might you might get it down immediately. You might get it down in two weeks. In my case, it's taking forever. Um, hopefully, yours doesn't take this long. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the video and like two training sessions of me pulling sumo and b slash one of them being extremely frustrated, another one being a little bit more uh, upbeat but uh yeah if you guys want to this video leave a like comment and um i'll see you on the next one